Well, Tim, I'm told that they plan to split it four different ways between cleaning up trash, homeless camps, and also graffiti. And I'm also told that nearly half of the funding will be used for preventative measures. If you drive on Portland highways, you've seen the graffiti on highway signs throughout the metro, including I-405, 205, and 84. But those eyesores will soon be gone, thanks to a $20 million spending bill passed by legislatures last Thursday to clean up roadways. I think it should go a long ways. You should see a bigger impact than you have in the past when we try to do this piece by piece. Casey Davey with the Oregon Department of Transportation says funds will be used to hire contractors to help their maintenance crews, adding it will be split four different ways. So we've already got all of our spending codes lined up so we can charge it correctly and the crews are ready to go. $4 million will each go towards cleaning up graffiti, trash and homeless camps along highways. Another $8 million will be used for preventative measures. That's things like fencing and barricades and lighting to encourage folks not to park and camp in places that are very dangerous for them to be along the highway. But not everyone is on board with the funding. Oregon Representative Travis Nelson, who oversees North and Northeast Portland, took to social media to voice his opposition, saying, quote, I withdrew my support for this funding when neither ODOT or the city of Portland could assure me that this cleanup would last, adding he has serious doubts about where taxpayer dollars will be used effectively though Davey strongly believes otherwise. It's going to more than triple the amount of work that can be done like on camp cleanups in Portland on ODOT right aways and that's going to be a big difference. Now, if Governor Kotek signs the bill soon, ODOT plans to start the cleanup process no later than the beginning of April. Tim, back to you. All right, Daisy, sounds good. Thank you.